Welcome back to. I'm gonna have to sue me. How do you map the story number one? Let's go. It started immediately. It's an hour day encounter. About two weeks after my return to reality from the battle against Natsuhima, to be more specific. Which begs the question of what we've been doing since then. そうなると第二都市の建設を本格的に考えないといけないわけでまあ楽々になりませんねハロスパシャスチューアベリタブルオーシャンオブペーパーズ How to splash us through a veritable ocean of papers? Bringing her work into my room must become the norm for her now. She seems utterly relaxed. Lately, she's been coming here in the light and breezy clothing she usually only wears in her own chambers. Now, that's great and all, but why did she attach living frisbee? Frisbees, oh fuck. Now, I don't have anything against her usual princess outfit. It's elegant, and beautiful, and boobies. Also, did she have travels? The other ways to get it before? I did that. Nice travels. I have these clothes in her too, which show her true individual self more honestly than the official robes of a ruler or a sword. What I love most is that she feels comfortable showing herself to me in them. Well, even with the enemy of unity out of the picture, we still need to eat. We have to eat to live, and we still have to deal with red tape. I've been doing my own writing and provide a matter of fact response. It's just business as usual here in Kanto. It sounds like we've completely forgotten everything that's happened. But the fight to see the world is getting more distant every day. The memory of having commanded such forces is slipping away from me too. Sometimes the demon feels like it was all just a dream. I was right there in the thick of it, but in the end, I am smelling potatoes, not a major player. How to purses her lips and pass up her cheeks? Of course, she's very happy about the peace we have achieved. And the future we've secured for Kanto. This comment is just a cute complaint from someone who has also learned to be true to her own desires. There have been some other small changes in her attitude, becoming a little more childish at times, and revealing herself to be a little more. Uh, to me, not to be. She remains so cute. I'm happy with whatever side of her she wants to show me. Ah ha 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 ha. Unless you plan on giving up on being Grilla completely, I think it's going to take a year or two to get out from under this. When we learned of what are likely other groups of surviving humans, we promised to set off and travel the world. But it's true that we need to acquire a means of travel, communication, and education for those we are going to leave behind. Our conduct could collapse once we are gone. Reality can be fun, but hard to deal with. お兄様は意地悪ですね。すべて投げ出したいところですが、せめて石膏に出した3人が戻るのを見届けるのは私の義務でしょう。Oh yeah, they just everybody but there is a lot of brain can actually become ruler. You don't have to worry about Teki or any other big gigantic shenanigans anymore. I don't need to just have ultimate power or anything like that. That makes sense. I managed to be a little more serious with my next reply. How to send out three scouts beyond Kanto? Prior to me, Vikiga. Now we know that there's a group of people still alive in the region of ancient Tokyo, which we still won't ever see. I suspect that their scouts will probably have made contact. I just hope that it hasn't. Uh, led to any fighting. Next thing we have to deal with might be warfare. That sounds like a pain too. 
Well, whatever happens, we'll deal with it. I murmured to myself, swinging my brush to and fro. This new open world is full of possibilities. How do I move over to look what the uh, working gun? Her hair switches around me, it smells lovely. I'm running what I remember about ancient radio technology. In addition to the stream engine, I've asked the professor to take a look at this chill. Yeah, huh? Haru has done the reading, as always. That's right. If we're going to build a second city, or take a trip further away, the communication technology needs to be a priority. I nod, and then point to my left wrist, which currently isn't wearing the bracelet. I don't know the technical stuff, but you has a basic communication system on board. So again, the bracelet to the professor to examine. Nice. Haro gives a happy laugh, pleased to hear about these developments. Well, things would go more smoothly if Akin and Oi would help the professor out. I think persuading them to do that is one of the next issues to resolve. Yeah, the way you share your senses is a form of communication. And the way lightning powers can probably help with the electrical stuff. The issue being that the drinks aren't that co uh, cooperative when it comes to working with a professor. The concept of machinery doesn't really mean anything to them. And they just don't get along personality-wise with the professor anyway. We need to try and find some kind of trigger. Well, the two of them have a strong sense of responsibility and curiosity. So with a little time, I think I, I think we can make it work. Hmm. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Shall we take a break? Haru's concentration seems to be shot, so I make the suggestion. She's such a workaholic, she needs someone to slow her down sometimes. Oh so god, that's gonna be the so Photoshop. Shit. Haru accepts that she's running low on gas, giving me a right chuckle and a nod. Then she comes ever, uh, even closer to me with a happy look on her face. She's just so damn cute! She has a smile on her face, a little at odds with what she's saying. I mean, everyone in Kanto has spent their entire lives afraid of a threat that just suddenly vanished. She lets out a sigh still with that smile on her face. Keeping our guard up isn't a bad thing. I can't guarantee that all the tech you have completely stopped. I look out at the summer sky through the window. Tassel for a moment. I lost my mechanical body. But sometimes it feels like I still hear the voice of the techie. It doesn't feel like something dangerous. Like maybe they will come back? It's more like a cold, murmuring voice. Like a silver bell chiming. The slumbering techie, talking in their sleep. A fragment of a dream, perchance. Sleep usually until life blooms in each and every piece of cold metal. I choose to slumber over their eradication. If there was a tech here there with a strong sense of self, it may still be operational. That as humans think of it might not even apply to them. I wonder if Natsuhima really vanished completely either? If that's even possible for her? She had desired to uh, dead as a human? But if she still exists somewhere, I do like to find a way to give her a proper life. And then Fuyita swoops right in and slices her, yeah. 
And then, and then what? I lose myself and my thoughts for a moment. Haru gives a gentle smile, revealing what I'm thinking from my face. She's definitely a smart one. Well, whatever they were, did they give her still alive? Still born into this world? We don't know where they came from, but one day, we might be able to converse with them. Green and wild hand in hand, I would like to learn where they came from, honestly. If we're going to take a break, let's talk about something less heavy. I'm feeling a bit too settled, and make a display of being surprised. I can't allow my further growth as a Katadama user to push me away from this world. Harima looks at me with an amused look in her eyes. <laughs> Oh, Mahani, the attention has always been yours. Your smile tells me that she desires danger. That she, desi she desires some ass time. She's so cute, I can hardly take it. But then we did kind of say goodbye forever before the final battle, and I, well, then I was dead, dead, dead for a while. <laughs> I can see why she might be a little clingy. I need to lean into that for a little while at least. Is there anything you want to do then? Anything I wouldn't normally let you get away with. Like eating five meals a day? I chuckle as I ask her. Hello, girl child? But older? Your sense of taste might be feeding, but food still forms a large part of your personality. She narrows her eyes at me, but I'm not going to back down on that point. Nope, nope. You're keeping your weight at three meals a day! You don't need to eat anymore. I do still love her even if she was a lard ass. But from my health perspective, she's getting enough calories. Haru <laughs> snaps back to the subject at hand. She seems so bright and cheerful now. More than food? Like... I stroke your head will seem cute that I love you 100 times. So no. So no. So no. How did you know? Yes, so I was still more at the receipt of the show. You know, so you have not seen the one I noticed. Ah, Kadama user who can write such a cute thing to see. Out of Clouds Arms, looking like an upset child again. <coughs> I think I might be taking teasing her too far, but if you didn't do it, we wouldn't get this, which we never gotten before. Yet I also want to see more of it. From what she said, anyway, it sounds like she has some ideas of what she actually wants. I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. Tell me what you want. You're giving me the I really am uh, uh, angry honest performance. She settles back down. <sighs> then let's have to sing. Gather a country of combat and training, meaning she has excellent control of her emotions at all times. <laughs> What is this butt sex that I kept getting cut on from your ancient texts, Sanyisama? Okay, go ahead. I look right at her, wondering where this is going. Yeah. 
私としましてもお兄様の古代の風習や感覚を尊重したいと思っているのです。Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's right. You're really making an effort. There is nothing here for me to disgrace the sweat. And I give a grateful nod. So, the Kodai no Sekoi no Chiski a Kangai Kata to you mono Aratamete o Kikistai no des. Ah, okay. I keep adding the comments to myself this time, too, and just nod. I'm playing it cool on the outside, but my head is wiring at top speed. I and I got to our current sex life, we had sex in my room numerous times now. I'm presuming this is pretty normal in Canada, too. The main point of sex is to have children, and so couples probably screw a lot in a short period of time to ensure that happens. However, in our case, the Kadadama means that the pregnancy is already confirmed. Which means any sex from then on is just about, uh, about pleasure and love for Haru. She knows that too, that little slut, and seems a little embarrassed about it. Having a normally quiet girl wanting your body purely for pleasure is super erotic. This way of framing is uh, as wanting something more from me as another way of letting me know she's looking for even greater pleasure. What a wonderful idea! Well, it's been about three seconds at this point. I see. Well, I didn't write anything about sex in my pages. That's true, you dick. I tried to keep the lust from wrapping my face and give an honest smile in response. You're very kind, Taro. With this desire to learn about the past. Eh, <laughs> Haru suddenly places her hands on her burning red cheeks. What the I don't know what you're talking about. Haru shakes her head from side to side again, <laughs> her hair waving around. You're cute. That's what you are. Such a beauty. <laughs> no. Haru wraps me on the chest, but she hasn't enchanted herself so it doesn't hurt at all. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I get it. I want you to feel good too, so I should know everything you can about sex from the good old days. <coughs> Take her arm and give her a smile as I look her in the face. She's so riled up, I can hardly keep control of myself. Ooh. Boop boop. Had a pop up her cheeks, too, but manages to calm down. Sex back in my time was pretty much the same as it is here. I get right down to business, rather than risking pissing her off again. I heard talk of 48 positions or whatever, but at the end of the day, sex is sex. Maybe people used always in the past or would have sex wearing different outfits, but that's about it. Well, I'll just go wherever my mouth takes me. Harry tells her head. Her naive look, completely nonplussed by what I might mean, just turns me on all the more. I'm never used to it myself, so I don't know the details, but things like. Vibrators, you could uh, what you call them, or uh, dildos, things like that. Oh, you do. How do I realize this? What I mean, and looks aside a little shyly. So that's still, I think. I skipped a uh, job, webby. All the. That wasn't much. There was a little bit of discussion about the technology for Agrius, but I don't know then. The horny! And then. I'm doing this one in this very same episode. Fuck it. Nighttime in Canada's quiet, illusory, 
It's on with the word. It's close to 10 p.m.? What would this be said in, since this is... Wait, what does the panel mean exactly? It means a lot of things, but... Let's just call it what if scenario, I guess. That's late at night in counter terms, yeah? The last time the people were up and about this time with having this shitty attack. It's already been more than a month since that day. During that time, Kata has been perfectly peaceful with nothing to report at all. Summer is coming to an end and the nights are even starting to get quite cold. I'm going to need uh, some heavier clothes. I look out over the Kratbrook's district enjoying the flickering fires that glow so differently from electric light. There isn't a single person in the town. But then stable lights flicker and shadows dance on the buildings and things placed in the road. Looks like a ghost might pop pop at any moment. I wonder if Kanto has ghosts. They don't have graves or any kind of organized religion. That don't count. But I haven't asked but better to have things like the concept of the soul. They probably have something along those lines. But it's just different from the ancient idea. What about the box masks wandering around in the daytime? It already feels like a trip to another world. Anyway. About time, I think. I start passing the time by looking over the town. Hey! I put my hand under the bulky test radio. Now that Kato is at peace, the next thing I turned my attention to was radio technology, I guess. Does technically still count being a part of what happened after? Uh, shutting down the decky? But then being... Uh, at the same time, well, what if? With the professor helping out and using you as a sample, we finally reached a point of that first radio test. Professor! Professor, can you hear me? Over! I press the transmission button and wait for a reply. I left you with the professor, seeing as she has less experience with radios. So she should be able to reply quickly, and indeed, it doesn't take long. <laughs> The professor sounds happy too. Huh? This It's okay, professor. I can hear you. Or, I reply with a laugh. I'm not really accustomed to talking to the radio either. It's a bit less convenient than a cell phone or smartphone with its two way communication. This proves the signal reaches the crackers district. I'm heading down to the fields. Over. <laughs> maybe it's because we're in the middle of an experiment, or maybe it's because she isn't accustomed to the radio yet, but the professor keeps her normal banter off the airwaves. This makes it much easier to talk with her, I think for a moment, and then I kick off the roof and jump into the night. Now continue down to the fields. Professor, now I am at the fields. Can you hear me? Over. I send a message. The same message as before. I wait for a while. There is no reply. Professor, can you hear me? Over? I repeat my question. No sound comes from the radio at all. <sighs> Looks like we're trapped out. Too far away. I give a second at this result. Pretty far from having any practical applications. But this radio is only a prototype anyway. Created from something we dug up from under the palace. We aren't close to mass producing anything yet. Well, this is probably going to take a year or two. Or more, depending if anyone learns some rocket science around here. That's the end of the test for today. I look at the radio. Radio! Intense radio waves! I pick it up again. Professor, can you hear me? Over. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, sorry, it didn't. I'm missing the Kadodama ten chance to radio waves right now. Oh, a temporary measure, I'm afraid. Over. Hmm. The professor doesn't hide her pro the, 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 the disappointment. She doesn't have any powers, meaning making success success with technology is her only hope. Well, it's not bad for a first test. We are we were successful at least to the crappiest district. I'm coming back over. Ah, ah, so that so you could not have shown in you. He does stunning at you. Yes, she sounds a little pleased with herself. I have a name. Thank you, Shen. What do you want? Over. I talked before she said over. I need more practice too. So that the. シンだったな。黒髪のお年頃や少年より真の方が呼びやすいから覚えなくては。Thank you. Kanto so I can't deny the urge to smudge my face in there. Yes, yes. I mean, celebrate. Have a good time. Whoa, whoa. She sounds happy, and then the call ends. Oh God! Huh? The professor likes that kind of stuff too. I did drink with other humans at one time, but not since. And so it doesn't really register with me. It did. He only seemed to give it uh, out uh, for celebrations. I haven't seen any around. Maybe it's a rarity. So she wants me to steal some, does she? Well, I've got authority as a sword. I remember my position. I didn't forget it, but I say Hachi no Kami. I do have the authority to do pretty much whatever I want. An abuse of power, perhaps? Well, nothing wrong with giving her a little reward. And the pat on the butt. Uh, they are pretty much the only one on her side at the moment. But the establishment of radio technology will be massive for Kanta. I'm starting to feel cold. So I give myself a light enchantment and head back to the place. Uh, pa palace. Palace. Palace, palace. And so. Professor! I'm back. I passed through the automatic door and call out. Yeah, Hey Dad, and that's the first thing you had to say, right out in the radio experiment. The professor is waiting for me and I show her the gourd with the alcohol in it. Nani? あの手の実験が最初から全てうまくいくなどとは思っていないさ。古代の知識や技術とはそういうものだからな。Oh. From my perspective, all this tech was stuff that was easily available in the past. So I'm in a rush to recover it. But for the professor, it's all strange and new, so she was ready for it to work from the start. I could learn a few things from you on that score. <laughs> the professor has a feminine body, at least, and she trusts it proudly at me. Nani,無線はすでに優という実物があるのだ。すぐに農地あたりまでは。that's hardly for you to say. I check it while putting down the gourd on a table and then look around. Can I ask where it is you? Oh, ono de wa betsu no hiya ni moite kite shimatta no. Kimi ga modotte kuru made sagyo o tsuzukete ita no de kinzoku kaku o suru hiya no hou da. There are other rooms down here, but the professor does work that bells or might otherwise make things uncomfortable. You're not taking her apart, are you? 
あの腕輪がカントの宝であることは承知している分解は最終手段だな I know you have plenty of awareness of these things, but that final comment was unnecessary. She now derides me. I heard that she even tried to take me apart before I woke up. Yep, because she knew I had regenerative powers. So, I'm not sure what I'm doing. 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 So, this is what she wanted? She reaches for the guard, takes a drink, and then puts it back on the table. <sighs> oh! I'm impressed by how she just knocks it back. She's an intellectual, but she's also a woman of Kanta? This Steve's good. I, get out, I, I, I can't help but ask. Hmm? I can't <laughs> I think the machine part said yes. I can drink. Okay, alternative universe stuff. I can drink. Although I've only done it once. That's why you can drink. You can drink. She nods at the gourd with her forehand. The thought of sharing it with her doesn't really turn me on because it's a professor who doesn't care about stuff like that. I'll just have a sip. <laughs> Instead of I'm feeling the cold, and I am interested in drinking, so I picked a gourd up. It's like some samurai movie, drinking like this. I take a swing, and it's my time drinking in this style, so I get more than I expected. Hmm? Hmm? That also tastes very different from the alcohol that Haruhime gave me that time. It doesn't have the soft taste like it did before, and it's more better. To say it burns as it passes down my throne is hardly a metaphor. <laughs> the professor gives a cackling laugh, her own cheeks flushed a little red. No, uh, <laughs> I just grabbed what I could find. But this is what struck it at the last stuff I drank. When I go with this aside, my body and my head are feeling really warmed up already. She takes an hour swig and then gives it back to me. Seems like she wants to take turns. Well, I don't need it. I let her a psychotic and then take an hour swig. It is nothing but better, but it also isn't completely horrible. I do like the hot feeling on my stomach. Mm-hmm. Nomi Puri wa wari ku nai na. Sake wa nare to yu kara na. Ningen da shiku furumau nara, nomeru yo ni natte oku no mo yui da ro. I did what I was given already for advice. I shake my head as a reply. If I ever seems to see me as a machine man, something for her to study, and she's pretty direct about it. Of course, having someone so cold and clinical about, uh, clinical about things uh, uh, helps to keep me on a straight and narrow. Do you like dragon, Professor? I don't like it, but I don't like it. But I don't like it from this room. She's grinding even more than normal. That face she's making in her attitude to drink. She's a grown woman. If you ask her here, but she'll, she'll probably give you a regular supply. Yeah, yeah. Hime-sama-wa-tanon-demo-hamari-mo-te-kite-kure-na-kite-ne-na-se-da-ro-ne-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-
and suddenly start cackling as well. Yeah, something is wrong here. I've never laughed like this before, have I? The boots is in my stomach, but it's my head that's feeling hot. I've only had two sips. Am I drunk? Is that what this is? Hmm, I'm not sure. Well, who cares? I don't really get it, but I'm feeling happy. The professor spills down some more drink, then passes the glory to me again. Please, let me see the machine lighter. I feel like so happy I don't really care what she says to me. I think an hour swig. So, the professor waves a hand, indicating I can drink more out of turn. It seems she likes to get other people drunk as well. I'm happy enough to. I'm happy enough about that and swallow some more. Oh, <laughs> 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 I'll drink you. I'll drink you. I will drink with you. Then I'll still under the down understand the taste, but I think my tongue has start caring. The more you drink, the more fun it becomes. Oh, this is good. Kimi wa hachiken da kara na. Sake daro ga, tabemo no daro ga, onna daro ga. The professor gives a sign. She's sexy, actually. Different from the girls I'm normally around. I love him. There we go! Even the professor is doing me on now! <laughs> you see that? But look at everything you've, give, you've been given. You can do what you look do with your chill. Sono <laughs> tori she does look happy, like she has no interest in ever going outdoors again. I'm here, aren't I? Why do we? If the drink is this, uh, if drinking gives this fun, I'll bring some more down in the future. Whoa! So, 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 I'm drunk, that much is for sure. I'm really drunk. Mm. <laughs> the professor suddenly appears into my face. I tell my head that I sighed wondering what's up, and she does the same thing. She's actually capable of cuteness. I realize that that's fine too. <laughs> nope. I'm trying, but I can still think. I mean, it feels like the world is spinning around me, but I'm fine with it. Mr. Logic's intact and functioning as normal. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> Fortunately though, we have to get the fuck out of here because YouTube is watching me.